Bailey and I are off to work. And aren't we? Hey, go. Oh, I'm mad at Bailey. Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah, we're off to work this morning. It is Saturday. Uh, <clears throat> I'm putting on a 30% off my whole entire store sale um, for Father's Day for uh, from now up until Father's Day, <clears throat> which is, I think, the 12th or 14th or... Is it the 14th? Is it the 14th? I don't know. <clears throat> Oops. But, anyways, we're um, kicking that off, and hopefully that will bring in some customers. Um, <clears throat> what else? Oh, I, I have two finished projects. Can you believe that? I'm just going, going, going now. Um, <clears throat> can you see me? Hello. <laughs> It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, it's supposed to be getting up in the crazy amounts of temperatures this week. <clears throat> so George isn't very happy about it. I don't, I don't mind because I'm going to be in a building with air conditioning. Although they do keep the heat on in the morning until like 12. <clears throat> and then it starts to... It starts to um, cool down and then by the time I get and I'm ready to go home. I'm freezing. <laughs> so, the pollen is kicking my butt big time. Um, as you can tell, I'm, my, I'm doing the <coughs> things. So, yeah, my, um, it's really affecting my throat. I'm getting, my, my throat's itchy. <coughs> That's new for me. Um, I've never had that before. But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, uh, we'll deal with it. <clears throat> but, um, I also made a turtle. I thought it was a good idea at the time. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. I don't know how any of you that make amigurumi stuff, <clears throat> I don't know how you can making amigurumi that has pieces that you have to sew on because man it had two four five six seven pieces to put together oh, pet peeve of mine is having to sew stuff together I like one and done <clears throat> but oh god you guys are slipping Ugh. Um, yeah so that didn't help. Um, ah! <laughs> Hang on. Okay, that's not much better, but anyway. <clears throat> um, yeah, I like one and done stuff. I like to be able to have everything in like one or two pieces and then that's it. But having said that, there are some... Um, designers that are really good at what they do and they make it easy um, and fun to do. Um, Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hooten and Crafts is one of them. Um, she she makes things fun. Um, Crystal from Chronically Crocheting, she's another. She's She makes her, her um, patterns so that they're fun to do. <coughs> um, there's lots of a, lots of people out there that put out amigurumi patterns that are um, are good like are fun uh, one that <laughs> one that I would really like to try but I don't know how well that will be received is Miguel's crochet he does the wee wees <laughs> if you've never seen his stuff oh my goodness <clears throat> I never thought there could be so many different types of penises. <laughs> I just <laughs> but they're little they're wee wee wees like they're little you know tiny things <clears throat> but um like he made them into you name it he's got it it's crazy he just did one that was a Rastafarian um he's 
done a cactus. He's done, like, I can't even begin to name them all. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about getting his pattern because he basically, he does like one, one style of pattern for the Wii and then has a whole bunch of different types of um, things you can make it into. So the sky's the limit on that. And I thought that was a pretty cool concept. Um, but <laughs> I just don't know how, how it's going to go if I put those in my shop. I mean, it could go really good and it could go really bad. <laughs> I just don't know. Because I've got a lot of senior citizens. Who knows? Maybe they'll think they're, they're hilarious. <clears throat> but um, i got a lot of senior citizens and I've got a lot of... Um, um, Asian tourists that come through uh, I mean I'm sure that they'll think they're great but um, and then I've got some parents with children that walk by and I thought oh boy <clears throat> so I don't know if the children would know exactly what it is but I don't think I want to take that chance I mean, who knows? Maybe it could be a, a tourist attraction. I could have a little sign saying X-rated, children not allowed kind of sign that, and have them kind of off in the corner. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Or have them up high so they're at parent level but not at um, kid level. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. Um on Monday, I finally am going to have a wall built, uh, like a small wall, <clears throat> and they are going to move my clothing rack, or my, my clothing rack, my change room, um, into my store. Finally. <clears throat> it's also going to cost me $400. Which isn't bad, I guess, but oh my good lord. I just, it's like whatever. <laughs> But I definitely do need a change room because um, if I'm going to be bringing in clothing and what have you, then they're going to need somewhere to change. And I think a lot of, possibly a lot of the reason why I haven't really sold a lot of the t-shirts and stuff is because there's nowhere for anybody to put it on. So I'm hoping that's going to make a bit of a difference. <laughs> um, right, Bailey? Right. Do you have anything to say today? She's my co-pilot for the day, and she's also the shop manager. Uh, she makes sure that there's quality control. Um, she makes sure that the customers engage in um, heading her and coming into the shop. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> she's, she's, oh, oh, what is that? Oh, no. Oh, there was a deer on the side of the road. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I hate that. <clears throat> anyway, okay. So, I'm going to go because Bailey's getting hot. I had to roll up the windows to be able to do this video. Um, I'll add on to this video so I can show you um, my turtle and stuff. I'm, I'm not going to be able to show you the garment that I finished um, right now because my mannequins are at work. <clears throat> and my garments at home and <laughs> so but um, I'll when I get home I'll show you guys okay I'll talk to you in a while hi yarn to bees okay so my day is done <laughs> I can't did I show you my turtle I don't even know I finished my turtle last night I don't think I did I finished my turtle last night and I was going to show it to you on video, but it sold. <laughs> it sold like that. And I was like, wow, okay. Um, that, that turtle was a labor of love, I'll tell you. It was just too many pieces to sew together. And um, yeah, but it sold. And I was like, oh, crap. So, um, I'm in the process of making another elephant. And then I'm going to start working on the koala. 
and the moose. Um, the moose is going to be a bit of a pain because I think it's going to have some stuff to sew on as well. It might not be that bad. Actually, it's not going to be that bad because it's got the, the moose I'm talking about is here. Um, it's just got the, the, um, arms that you sew on and then you continue on with the head. The nose is probably going to have to be sewn on the ears and the horns will have to be sewn on. I hate sewing on this kind of stuff. Like it just drives me mental, but because I can never get it straight. And then I'm going to do the koala, the koala. So, I mean, I just wanted to try out a few different things to see how they would sell and everything. I've gotten a lot of people saying that my seals are really cute. Um, but I, you know, I don't know how much to charge for this stuff. I really don't because I'm not an amigurumi person by, you know, trade. I don't, I don't make amigurumis that often and I certainly don't do them to sell. So you guys saw my seal. Um, I made up five of them all together and I sold, I'm selling them for $10 each. To me, I'm still thinking that's high, um, but I am having 30% off my whole store sale right now. Oh yeah, you guys, I'm having a 30% sale on all my stuff in my store uh, right now until Father's Day. So if you want anything, you know, I'll hook you up. <laughs> Just email me. <laughs> um, you know, see my, my shirt. Nope, not today. <laughs> so that's in my shop. Um, anyway. So I, I have no idea. I don't know. Um, my stuff, like I was, I was talking to you guys about Jeanette from Miss Hootie Hoot and his crafts. She sold out of her stuff, but her stuff is big stuff and she's got some small stuff. Her stuff is impeccable. I can't say enough about her stuff. Um, it's really, really special stuff. And I've got her link down below. You got to go and check out her stuff because it's just amazing. Um, but I, I, I told her she put out a video, a second video today about the craft fair that she did. And I'm going, yeah. hello. <laughs> um, I need some help. <laughs> you know, I need to know what am I supposed to charge for this kind of stuff? Now I know that the prices in Canada and the prices in the U S are going to be different, but I am clueless. Can any of you help me? Cause I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> these stuffies that I'm making right now are, you know, like they're not like big, you know, so I don't know. I have no idea. I, would that lady have bought it if it wasn't 30% off? I don't know. Uh, the um the bigger like the the seals i'm selling for 10 the turtle i think was 15 and then i was i don't know if these ones should be 20 like i don't know you guys like i'm totally lost i need help um I need to get some more amigurumi eyes. I know that. So that, I mean, I get my, normally get my amigurumi eyes from dark side eyes uh, in the UK. <clears throat> um, they're like pretty inexpensive and they're gorgeous, but it's going to take a while for them to get here. So I, I, I don't really like the eyes that are on Amazon and I looked on Timu and I looked on AliExpress and you can get the sparkle eyes like this, the ones that have the sparkle around it and stuff, but I'm getting kind of bored of those. So <clears throat> I know that you can cut out your own uh, backs for them. I'm not into that. It's just too much work for me. I don't have time for that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I got to figure that out, <clears throat> but anyway, um, okay. The top that I finished, 
you remember I was showing you this. So yeah, I finished it. I'm, I don't know how to feel about it. I just, I wanted it done. So I just did it real quick. Um, on the bottom, I did uh, the crab stitch along the bottom. Um, I think it's too big for me, I think. But oh, if you like oversized stuff, it's great, I guess. Oh, here we go. Okay. So it's a, kind of a three-quarter sleeve. And so, yeah, it's kind of like a poncho, I guess, like a pullover poncho. So, yeah. Oh, but yeah, so I um, finished that finally. Oh. Took me forever to get this stuff done. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, I got fluffies all over me. So, uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so those two things are done. And I will show you my elephant um, when I get it done. I'm hoping to get it done tonight. <clears throat> and, yeah, and then I'll start on the koala and all that. But I will show that to you when they're finished. Anyway, I guess that's everything, guys. Um, today was a weird day. There was a lot of people that came through, but they weren't buyers. You know, they were just kind of checking things out. But it's the most people that we've had so far. I really was expecting a little bit more from that, but especially with the sale I've got going on. But people were just in their own heads, I guess, and just enjoying the sun and... Um, just out and about. So that's okay though. That's okay. Oh, I think George is home. So I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys later. Okay. I love you all. Bye. Bye.